being attacked by stir beater 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 you woke up the freaking elementals and a shuttle server cover oh for the love of beans let me just kill you hello hack members it's your girl calamity alpha here Welcome back to another episode of Biomutant. We just finished defeating the last World Eater in the last episode. Hold up, just to remind everyone that it was not the last World Eater. It was the third. Calamity was bulk recording during episode 17 and 18. Anyway, back to the video. Um, that was an adventure all on its own, let me tell you. Um, <laughs> it took a while, but right now... We are going to go and repair the roots. Um, I have some potato people, I know that much, that I can give. I don't need to go find one. All right? Or do I actually have to? I thought I had one. Nope, okay, I actually gotta go find the potato person. Um, but we're gonna repair the roots in this episode. Um, and then after we're done repairing the roots, we're going to go complete a few of the side quests, um, create some weapons out of some of the epic pieces that we find, and just have a good old time. What the heck are you? You guys look like puppies! Keep it. We keep it. We'll stick it in our pocket and keep it. I don't know what it's for, but I love it. Um, but no, so first things first, I'm actually going to save because I didn't, um... I don't want to have something happen and I not have a save to go back to um, um, with us defeating the world eater the 600th video like oh my gosh and for those of you wondering I do have a special plan for our 666th video um, it's a very wicked the evil plan of course uh, but we will celebrate that video in the most proper way possible by playing a game that just so happens to be related to a demon of sorts. Um, yeah. It's a bit cartoony, but it is a game that I have been wanting to play for a while and I figure what better way to do that than with our 666th video but yeah so like i said big plans big things going there's the potato patch go on catch it all right back to the thing but yeah so a lot of exciting things planned for the future. I did want to touch base. Um, I've had a lot of people asking me about live streams. Um, at this moment in time, I cannot do live streams uh, for gameplay for like YouTube. I'll still do. I'll still do the color with calamity um, stream on Twitch. Uh, that's because that just, it doesn't take a whole lot of computer power to do those. But to record and stream at the same, like, to stream and play games at the same time, it takes a lot of, um, processing power for my computer and it just cannot handle it right now. Um, so I'm not gonna be able to do any live streams on YouTube. I will be doing the Color with Calamity streams on Twitch. Um, and there's just a lot that goes into factoring those streams together. Um, but because I cannot uh, cast the new Xbox to my computer, um, I'm not going to be able to do live streams until I have a better setup. <clears throat> So there's one more root that needs done. Um, let's go ahead and find out where that next root is. It's all the way over here. That's a root. That's not. Okay, so let's fast travel here. 
and go take care of that other root. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to like hold back on live streams for a while. Um, at least for YouTube. I will still do live streams on Twitch, but I just can't do gameplay live streams right now. Um, plus, I don't have a whole lot of time to actually sit down and stream a full game. Um, if it was, like, say, the summertime, I'd have plenty of time because my kids would be out of school and I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, picking them up, having dinner prepared at a specific time. So this is the last root up here. And then we get to see what that does. I'm just blind. The rut entrance is over here. <clears throat> Alright, so we gotta find this. We have to find another potato. I'm waiting for my capture card to come in because I have had issues with my external hard drive. Like, crashing and not wanting to work properly like if I don't get stuff off of it right away catchy. then I have to worry about things getting lost recordings getting lost and that's not something I want to deal with at the moment so with the capture card I'll have a backup for if something goes wrong with the external I'm waiting for that to come in I haven't received an email yet saying that it's in or it's arrived. Um, I haven't heard anybody open up the screen door yet. I've got specific instructions for my deliveries to be left uh, inside my mudroom because then people are less likely to want to steal it. All right. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's more prettier during the day. But we have healed the tree. <coughs> sort of. Um, okay, so we have the Majut now. Which means that if we wanted to, we could go after some of the other things. Um, Right now, we're going to go up this way towards the Muscle Squeezer. Um, like, my question is, did the tree pop up after the Great Catalyst? Um, and, like, I still can't get over that stupid ship that they're referring to as the Ark. Uh, you can't call something an Ark if you're not collecting, like, specimens and seeds and two-by-twos. I mean, come on, this isn't Titan AE. I think I just showed my age right there. <laughs> Actually, I just realized that this year I'm going to be 30. Like, holy crap. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk to this bozo. Because he's not going to run away this time. We all become memories for others, and just seeing someone acts as a catalyst for the kicked. past to seep in again. Come on, go ahead. Kick my butt. I'm not even going to try. Three against one's not fair. I can't win. I can just keep dodging, I guess, but what good does that do? 
just gonna let them kick my butt because literally I was bullied as a kid anyways. Both Memory IRL and in game. Troubling. Illusions your mind creates to avoid the memories of being bullied as a kidling. Okay. However, there's no doubt that what you remember makes oh. your future different. Sorry. Also, it's like 30 degrees outside. So, you remembered the I automaton's power-up feature. That's a boost. It might help if I actually have my phone Wi-Fi set to the Wi-Fi in the living room. It might not take as long. It is 31 degrees outside, actually. All right, so there's that. Back on the path to the muscle squeeze ass. AKA the uh, push-up bar thing. Oh. Well. I never really got into exercising. <laughs>
bot, but she bot with a lit. Let's try it in reverse. <laughs> This plastivine will clue in a chit-chat code. Lucky I'm still old enough to decipher it. It's about an undercovered place, just a trip trek not far from here. Okay, so is this undercovered place like... Marked? Like I said, we're going to hit up some of these extra spots. Uh... to be done though. Anyway, moving on. What is that place up there? Is that? What is that? Okay, we can keep going this way or I can go up. I want to go check this place out. We'll go to the ray lighter here in a minute. I want to check what's up here. Also, look at that pretty cotton candy sunrise! You know, that actually sounds like a really good drink. Like an alcoholic beverage. On the I tried out. to find a recipe for cotton candy sunrise Nova and found nothing. There, next to the cloud somewhere. Like, you know, I want somebody to create a cotton candy beverage, like an adult beverage, called the Cotton Candy Sunrise. That just sounds delicious. <laughs> Any fellow mixologist out there want to make a recipe for it? All right. So this is a lookout tower? It's interesting. Is there anything below? Any... Like, reason I should go downstairs? No, this is just the way in. Okay! <laughs> Takes me up. Let's go see who this Nova is. Oh, she pretty. Nova's pretty. I love that shade of purple. Let's see. Don't mind me, Nova. I'm just whipping it out in front of you. You know, it's completely fine. What's this? Is this a spacesuit? That is a spacesuit. I want the spacesuit. You found the long eye. You can use that to I'm talk to her. <laughs> Seems happy to have spotted you. It's hard to peer through the pollution around. <laughs> Says the sky's so dirty you can barely ever see them. But sometimes at night they break through the smog clouds. <laughs> she wonders what you're going to do with all the power you've been building up. Are you going to clear the skies or set them on fire? She thinks you'd like to see the smog clouds part and reveal the twinkles in the sky. Just think how beautiful that would be. Huh? When she finds a twinkle, she likes to think it means that we're not so alone. That somewhere out there, even if everything ends here, other worlds might go on. Nova wonders if you've ever looked at the twinkles and wondered... Says the twinkles seem to run on rails across the sky. Maybe you do the same down here. Figures if the twinkles spin on, the world should spin with them. And so it will. Says you always try to make things shine brighter and she loves that. Likes how you shine alongside the myriad. They're so bright and colorful, they almost blind the twinkles away. Thinks not enough things try to outdo the twinkles these days. Says when she talks to you, she gets twinkles in her eyes. She wonders if you're a dreamer too. Says her dream is in the stars. 
Her parents even named her the girl with stars in her eyes. Nova. I'm all. Nova says her mum was a rock star and she never got anything from her. But when the stars shone, so did she, realizing who she really was, a being of night. Ashoko. But now, she says, her head's stuck in the clouds. In some places, the pollution's so thick, nothing can break through. Not even her telescope. Nini Malik. Someone who makes music, but not with rocks. Not what you'd think at all, right? Lama. Nova says she spotted a twinkle when the night sky was clear. Her father's research claims that a single shard from a twinkle has amplifying qualities. Nini Malik. She's convinced that a twinkle shard would boost her long eye so she'd be able to see the stars every night. She wonders if you could keep an eye on the night sky for her. Lama. There's a twinkle that broke through the atmosphere already, so it's not long until it so pretty. promises that she'll show you all the twinkles she can find. Everything's so bright! I mean, sure, if you like. Just your only vacation. They say the same thing every time. Um, <clears throat> alright. So. Where are we going? What are we looking for? Where is this twinkle? That is a meteorite! Found it! <laughs> Alright. Let's go! Time to examine the crash site. Shite. Crash site. Wow. That's a crossway up ahead. Like a question. I don't waiting care for about an the answer. crossway, sir. I'm caring about the fact that there's a meteorite that could possibly be related to aliens of some form or fashion up the hill from me. Over there, though, there is a potato god statue right here. We're gonna go pray to it and pray that it's not something murderous that wants to murder our face. Almighty potato god, please let this not be an alien spacecraft. Though I am very obsessed with space. That is not... A meteorite! That is alien! And now I'm being attacked by stir beater 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 You woke up the frickin' elementals! And a shutter cover cover. Oh, for the love of beans, let me just kill you! No one ever. But no, this is not a meteorite. You found a fallen twinkle. If you can adjust the shards, you should be able to crack open that twinkle and pull them out. That word. It is a geo. Look at those shards twinkle. Can we stop saying twinkle? Hello? There was like a bajillion and one freaking notifications that went off. One on here, one on my laptop, and one on my phone. <laughs> All right, Nova. Got your twinkle. Nova says it was you the stars shone upon. You have a bond with them too. Otherwise, they'd never have guided you to the twinkle fall site. Okay. She says you'll play a bigger role in this than you think. It's written in the stars. The stars. You should start with putting the it. twinkle shard in Not the long today. eye. No. She thinks the shard will be able to amplify the long eye so that it's strong enough to see through the pollution fog. Mm. 
No. Knew you'd appreciate the beauty of the sky. It puts everything in per perspective. Dark believes before light. Oh, no. There is when you're... I'm still... Not for long. Nova says she's like the stars watching you at night. Didn't have much else to say, so... Just move it around until you spy a twinkle tumbling from the sky. Turn that the right way. That's the wrong way. Hey, let's see what I'm doing. All right, I got X out of this. Try turning it again. Turned out great. Found it. Nailed that. So pretty. Nova knows for sure that amplifying the long eye would have made her father proud. <laughs> Nova says she has a stash of peculiar objects from the old world her father left her when he abandoned the planetarium. So pretty. She's not interested in any of that junk. It just brings back memories of a really. world that's gone. So pity. You'd be right. doing her a favor if you took some of it with you. I've been drinking this for about a good hour and forgot to take out the paper. So, I'm going to have to dump this here in a minute. And, uh, yeah, that was... Um, Eh. Interesting. <laughs> Says she's just glad to have them gone so she can stop tripping over them while she's watching the sky. She heard a rumor you found the Ark and wonders if you're going to head for the stars. Can't contain her excitement. I'm gonna invite her. I'm sorry, but she ever. is pretty. She well, is hopes the world interested in space. So you can use the arc she is literally no. someone I would Says be Says it's amazing with. how much you've done Where to you make things better now? here, and the arc seems like not enough of a reward. Well, hopes you've been thinking about who your best tripmates in the arc might be. So, what we have here is an opportunity. Why? You don't need anyone else but yourself and me, of course, but I'm a part of you, so that doesn't... If you want to go quickly... But you know you can't go on... Hmm. I think we can... Okay. She's about to burst. She's thrilled to be going to the stars with you, closer to the twinkles than anyone she's ever known. Nova says you should keep your eyes on the... I'm all. Says talking to you was... In Alrighty. Get me my space suit. I'm probably gonna need that later. Backpack. Oh, this is the arc suit. Okay. So yeah, it is something from space. Anyway, back to what we were doing. I got distracted by Nova and her. Wow, he blends in so freaking well with her. Oh 
you bastard. Listen, you snud. Who are you? You're just a piece of garbage. Just here for a ray lighter, not to be attacked by a bajillion and one monsters. You need to get the optic controls in order to start. Yep. Excellent. That's illuminating. Anyway. this next location. There is the old world storage over here. So we're going to go to that next. Shit. No, we can't actually. Um, we can't go to the old world storage yet because we need to get the and oxygen beginning suit. Your brain. So. Okay. Um, journal. Where is the oxygen suit? There it is. Shit. That is very far away. Um, and we don't have... Alright, we're in fast travel here. We're gonna go get the oxygen suit in an another episode, because we're probably not gonna get to it in time. Ow, my leg! Ah! I got a cramp! Ow! I stretched wrong! Anyway, um, so yeah, so what we'll do is we'll just kind of, thinks you're brave for being up this, says you should take it easy. Okay. Um, sir. Sir. You are not sitting, are you? Where's your hat? Cries about how the Lotus Captain killed their kidling. They want to even things, but the Lotus Captain's too mighty. Wonders if you might be a real hero kind. Says the Lotus Captain wanted to sacrifice the kidling to the Lupa Lupin. How awful. You should be able to find the Lotus Captain always around the other Lotus. Wants you to take down that Lotus Captain forever time. Okay. Figures only you have the power to hold that Captain's noggin. Seems content with that. Maybe a little weepy. Okay, so we got a lotus cat there. Where's he at? He all the way over there. That's not where I want to go. Uh, let's see. Um, let's track this quest since it's closer. 
I don't know if I'll get there in time, but I will sure as heck try. Explore this hole. Because um, I'm not gonna make it to that one area in time. And I might as well just like just come down here and explore down here. I might hear this. always got to be rats. Alright, moving on. Why are you turning me around like that? I don't like the fact that you made me look behind me. That is a big uh-uh in my book, sir. We do not force somebody to look behind them. That is... That is horrifying. Seems the nozzles need to be regulated to set the pipe workings in motion. Ooh. Did that with no moves left. Now that's unblocked, there's nothing stopping the flow. room besides that no okay well time to go and not die because I'm not sure about this water okay <laughs> we almost died okay that just leads back around there Yeah, the freaking butthole is full of monsters. in this room that I need to concern myself with. Doesn't look like it, but let's go up. Got about three minutes left, so. Is there anything around here that I need to get? Also got us a little bit closer to our location actually which is interesting I only have three minutes left to get there and suddenly a random sewer pipe takes me exactly where I need to go
Alright, so let's call our Majut. Let's go ahead and pull off this. What's in here? even be concerned about exploring this area. I've only got a few minutes left, so... End the episode here! Um... Let's just take a little look-see around. You know, we'll come back to it. I'm gonna get out of this cave. Because I don't have much time left. For this episode and I have to get things around for the kids. Another pilgrim, not my problem. Alright, so thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like. Ow, I just pulled a muscle. Um <laughs> Subscribe if you have not already. Please give that notification bell a high five so you can be notified every single time we upload a new video. And until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!